Hey everybody, this is David Barnyard Bees. Hope I got this camera angle good enough. Uh, what I'm doing is going through some of these smaller colonies, these nukes, and checking how crowded they are, see if I need to go ahead and move, move a few of these splits over into a, an eight frame or 10 frame. Uh, these are the, some of the ones that I split about a month ago and some of them are getting crowded and I'm going to have to either, what I wanted to do mostly this year was instead of just keep splitting and splitting and splitting, I'm taking them and splitting them once and then putting them into a bigger colony and grow from there. But I always still have a handful of two frames and some five frames, but not just not near as many. I had to wear the veil, believe it or not, as hot as it is and nice as it is, they're a little bit testy. So I didn't really want to, I got to work tomorrow, so I didn't want to go to work with a closed eye. So I take a few things on the knees and arms, but I'm, I'm, that don't bother me. I'm used to that. I just don't want my, L, my eye swelled shut. So that's what I'm doing is just looking, and I've already done a two framer. I went through and it, was, it wasn't real crowded, but it had a nice size queen cell in it. And I had a five frame that needed a queen. So I pulled her, put her in the cage, put some workers in there with her and moved her over and we'll let that queen cell hatch. Uh, for the new beekeepers, look, when, when you're trying to raise queens or trying to split colonies, the best way to do is to always just let your colony kind of get overcrowded. They will make swarm cells for you. And just, uh, if you're gonna do that, just keep an eye on them. Don't let them get too far out of hand where they're gonna swarm on you. You know, when it, when it gets ready and your, your, your queen cell is closed, the end's closed off, completely capped over, then you can go ahead and move your, do your split. Um, let's just go through this colony right here, just show you. See their little, that one's trying to, he did get me, or she did get me. But look here, you see this frame here, I'm holding up right for you. Look at all the cat brood, and it's packed full of bees. There's a lot of bees in this colony, a lot of bees. So, what you'll start seeing next, like I've said in previous videos, you'll start seeing a lot of drone cells. When you start seeing a lot of drone cells, they're indicating they're getting ready to swarm. I haven't seen any yet here. Like I always say, use your smoker. It calms these bees down a lot for you new beekeepers. Uh, I'm a big believer in smoke. It really, really calms them down. It takes them from an aggression of nine or 10 down to three or four. <laughs> But anyway, a lot of a lot of cat brood here. Tons of cat brood. We'll just keep going through. I'm looking to make sure I don't have any queen cells, super procedure cells. Even if we do, we'll take that queen cell and make a split with it. I'm not seeing any. I'm not particularly looking for the queen. I know the queen's in here. I've seen day old eggs, so she's 100% in there. I'm really not even paying attention to her. I'm just pulling the frames out one by one. Going through, just looking, doing a, a quick inspection. It's hot today. Uh, we're July 7th, I believe. So it's starting to get hot. It seems like the last couple years, July is the hot month, where it used to be August. It seems like anymore, we peak out in heat in J uh, July, and all through July, it's miserable. Maybe the first week of August. Seems like you start getting towards the end of August, last few years anyway, it starts cooling down a little bit. Um, same thing here, tons of cat brood. Not seeing a whole lot of drone. Brood. So we, we look good there. Not a lot. 
but what I'm going to do, and I won't share this on video because it's, it's boring, but you'll know, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's move, get some of these bees off the bottom of that. All I'm going to do, right here's the queen, here she is. She just crawled down on the bottom side here. I normally don't hold the bees out like this. See her right here? You can see her right here on the, where my thumb is. I normally don't hold bees out like this. I'm doing it purposes of the video. I usually hold the frames over top of the hive. That way, if she falls off or she's dropped, that uh, she'll at least fall down in the, the colony. Or if she falls close to it, she'll walk in, hopefully. But you don't want to uh, pull it up a different frame. So, yeah, this one's ready to go. We got. Okay, I've run out of memory back there, so I'm going to have to put this in as the closing. But that was about it, folks. I just wanted to do a little uh, inspection on some of our smaller colonies. And that's what I'm doing today. That's about it, folks. Don't forget, click on the little bell, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnard Beast.